We're not going to show you our cover just yet. You'll have to wait until May 15th, yearbook day, to see that. But this year, we went with a different feel and we hand painted our cover. At the beginning of every school year, Ms. Girard unites the faculty together with a common goal and theme. This year, the goal was to be all in. She challenged the teachers to be all in for their students, the school, and their community. Therefore, we wanted to continue this challenge and create our 2014-2015 yearbook as the theme, All In. Have you been all in this year? All in embodies the attitude that all of us want to have to make our school a better place. More spirit, more pride, more commitment, more success. So get excited. If you've been following yearbook Instagram, you may have seen some paint strokes on some of the pages that we've been using for sneak peeks. We use a different color for each section of the yearbook, whether it be social events or academics or clubs or sports. And especially you seniors, we've given you the royal color of purple. Should we say who won the senior awards? What do you mean? Like Mr. and Miss CHS and Judy and Bo? Yes. Let's start with who the faculty selected. Each year the faculty votes on who they think exemplifies what being a war eagle really means. This includes extracurricular, community service, academics, and overall school personality. This is called Mr. and Mrs. CHS. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Matthew Pruitt on being named Mr. CHS and Tyler Bennett on being named Miss CHS. Faculty also votes for two males and two females who they feel embodies other areas of success. We call these the War Eagles of Honors. The four categories are War Eagles of Knowledge, the War Eagles of Strength, War Eagles of Fine Arts, and War Eagles of Technology. War Eagles of Knowledge are up first. Congratulations to Danielle Ritchie, Madison Mayfield, David Lawson, and Austin Passmore for this tremendous honor. So next up is War Eagles of Strength. So congratulations to Grace Brown, Macy Gerard, AJ Sagia, and Marvin Rosario for being buff and tough. The War Eagles of Fine Arts are Aaron Thomas, Nada Osman, Tyler Hooper, and Logan Grunenfeld. And finally, War Eagles of Technology. Congratulations, Haley King, Daniel Plachter, Rashir Parikh, and Reed Johnson. Congratulations to all those seniors. You truly deserve all those honors. Next up, we have Beauty and Bo. Every year, seniors are asked to submit their best senior portraits in hopes of becoming Beauty and Bo. This year's judge was Georgia's novelist, Holly Lauren, who's pretty hot herself. She picked the pictures based on who's had the best personality. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to this year's beauty, Michaela Lee, and this year's beau, Derek Sandridge. We would also like to congratulate all of the runner-ups. For beauty, first runner-up is Lexi Manzo. The second is Victoria Gerard. For beau, the first runner-up is Brando Ceballos, and the second is Jose Zavalas. Congratulations again, and all of you are beautiful inside and out. Now onto what everyone has been waiting for, senior superlatives. Each year, the senior class is allowed to select one girl and one guy who they think fits the best category selected by the yearbook staff. So congratulations to everyone who won a superlative, and here we go. Best hair goes to Hunter Kramer and Brooke Moody. Most athletic, Jordan Pulliam and Tyler Bennett. Class clown, of course, Miguel Calderon and Elizabeth Mendoza. Most likely to be famous, Matthew Pruitt and Brianna Banks. Most spirited goes to Reed Johnson and Caitlin Allman. Best dress goes to Derek Sandridge and Maddie Myers. Friendliest goes to Sean Day and Coey Leverett. Most likely to be a motivational speaker, Logan Grunenfelder and Grace Brown. Most likely to be on Survivor, Tyler Holman and Holly Baxter. Most likely to win an Academy Award, Tyler Hooper and Jessica Manriquez. Most likely to win an Academy Award, Tyler Hooper and Jessica Manriquez. Best smile, Marvin Rosario and Abigail Moon. Best eyes, Caleb Jamison and Macy Gerard. Heart of gold, Blake DeGraff and Hannah Daniel. Most changed since middle school, Juan Carrion and Brooke Hudson. Most likely to be a millionaire is Rashir and Alexis Starr. Barbie and Kid, none other than Drew Hopkins and Caitlin Turner. Most likely to be president, David Lawson and of course, Madison Mayfield. Most likely to win a Nobel Peace Prize, John Michael Smith and Hannah Adams. Most likely to be a talk show host, Tristan Crow and Selena McMillan. And last but not least, most uh, um, infectious laugh, AJ Sagia and Danielle Plagder. Congrats, seniors. Now on to the faculty superlatives, who are also voted on by the seniors. We have the best faculty, and here's just a few. Most entertaining, John Cornette and Miss Pruitt. Most athletic, Coach Garcia and Miss Quintana. Most likely to be on a reality TV show, Coach Whitlow and Miss West. Most random knowledge or trivia goes to Mr. Greer and Miss Richardson. Best dressed, Coach Wiley and Miss Howard. 
Most school spirited goes to Coach Webster and our very own principal, Ms. Gerard. Class clown, Terry the custodian, and Ms. Fagans. Best new hire goes to Coach Lee and Ms. Hoff. Most influential is Mr. Sheeman and Ms. Gibson. Most likely to win a rap battle is Coach Smith and Ms. Masters. Hardest working behind the scenes is Mr. Kelly and Ms. White. Most quotable is Mr. Davis and Ms. Cronin. Now let's talk about yearbook day, which is this Friday. In order to receive your yearbook, you must pay by May 14th. If you're not sure if you've bought a yearbook, there's a list outside of Ms. White's room to tell you what pages you're on. Yearbook day will be a regular school day to do ESCTs and AP exams. The yearbook assembly will begin at 11.05 in the gym. An announcement will be made when it's time to head to the gym. We'll honor our seniors and also announce our book's super secret dedication. After the assembly, juniors will report to the theater during A and B lunch for a rising senior assembly. Underclassmen will go back to class and pick up your yearbooks at lunch. Juniors will go outside for a last day of school balloon release. We've also set up a senior cookout and field day extravaganza with bounce houses and a whole lot more. Get excited, seniors! You have earned this fun afternoon. And yes, please bring any types of beach chairs, towels, blankets that we can use on the football field. And please also bring any type of game that you would want to play, like cornhole, frisbee, any type of game that you think would be fun. And let's have some fun on yearbook day. And we would also like to give a special thank you to some awesome people. We would like to thank the faculty and staff for all they do on a daily basis. We have learned that being a teacher is not easy and it's definitely not an aid to war job. You guys are always supporting students by cheering us on in athletics, club events, and theater productions, and everything else in between. You guys are a shining example of why we are all in. Now with the yearbook, we want to thank everyone who took time to make this book so very special and awesome. Thanks for all the times you let us interrupt your classes for every sports stat or club event. And sometimes we may have been even more annoying than others. Sorry, Coach Cornette. We love you, Miss Hamby. This book would not be possible without all of your support. We would also like to thank Ms. Gerard, Ms. Chronic, Ms. Kentrell, and Mr. Corley for also supporting your book. Thank you for encouraging school spirit and allowing us the freedom to make our book successful. Lastly, we want to thank our fearless leader, Ms. White. You're ridiculously amazing and 100% dedicated to all things staff, school, and of course, yearbook. We know that you had to stay late, often picking up all of our slack, even during the snow and icy days when you're here till 10 o'clock at night. However, I hope whenever you look at the book, you're just as proud as we are. You're definitely all in. We would also like to thank Ms. White for everything that she's done for all of us this year. I know personally, I could not have gotten through the past four years without her. Thank you so much for everything you've done. And lastly, without further delay, Chester T, it's yearbook week! Woo! Get excited, everyone. Yearbook week is this Friday, May 15th. So go ahead and buy your yearbook if you haven't bought one. We still have plenty left. Okay, so everyone keeps asking me, hey, Miss White, can I still buy a yearbook? And the answer is yes. In fact, here's a little secret. I ordered a bunch extra. Because our book is wicked awesome, and you're all in it, and you totally need to have it. So yes, this week you can come and see me and buy a yearbook. It's $75 cash. Not a check will be accepted. And please buy before May 15th, because yearbook day is going to be crazy, and I want your money before then. You're going to love it. Thank you, Chestity. We are all in.